Hi, and welcome to a new lesson. I want to teach you how to use some functional English. Today, we will use all of the things we have learned to describe some simple things. I will show the item to you and give you some time to think about it. Then I will describe it for you. I will show you how I describe things. This is an important skill for many reasons. It improves creativity by looking at random things and describing them quickly. We make our brain think faster. It forces you to use your English vocabulary creatively. Students too often favor the same adjectives and never use the others they know. Three, it is fun to challenge yourself. I will show you some real life videos of things. I will give you a minute to look at the item or items we will describe. Then I will describe it for you. I will add extra information to help you understand how you need to think to do this exercise. So here we go. But first, make sure to subscribe for more videos like this lesson. Now we're going to look at an item. And the very first thing I want you to do is take one minute and just look at it. Try and think of all of the adjectives and adverbs that you can use to describe this. More adjectives than anything. But if we're going to create a story, then you definitely want to think about adverbs that go with it. So I'm going to give you one minute to see the item and then I'm going to discuss it with you. Are you ready? Hmm. So take one minute. Look at this. I'll move it around a little bit so you can see all around. And now think of adjectives and adverbs to describe it. Okay, so now you've had one minute to look at this. The first thing you have to do when you describe something is to say what it is. So let's do that first. What is this? This is a donut. Hmm. This is a donut, but that's not very descriptive. Uh, we need to give some details. We need to explain more about this donut so that someone can understand what it is better. Imagine that you are talking to someone who can't see the item. That's always a good way to be very creative when you describe something. And this is a good way for when you describe something that you're writing about because the person reading it really can't see what it is. So our first sentence was, this is a donut. 
but the person listening doesn't get an understanding, a good feeling of what that means. So let's use our words to describe this better. This is a heart-shaped donut. Mm. See, now we get an idea. This is a heart-shaped donut. But how big is it? We should say that too. This is a heart-shaped donut. It is about the size of my hand. Ah, so now the person listening gets an understanding of what it looks like, what it is, and how big it is. Okay, so let's use our details some more. This is a pink heart-shaped donut. Ah, okay. This is a pink heart-shaped donut with, what are these? Red sprinkles? I think they're sprinkles. What kind of sprinkles are these? Ooh, they're like flaky sprinkles. Ah, there's an adjective, flaky. Let's keep going. This is a pink heart-shaped donut with flaky red sprinkles on it and white lines of icing. Hmm, this is icing. So there's pink icing and white icing. This is a pink heart-shaped donut with red sprinkles and white icing. The donut, hmm, how big is that? It's the size of my hand, but it's also uh, US system, about one inch thick. Centimeters, I'm not sure. <laughs> so you'll have to guess. Now, on the bottom of the donut, what do we see on the bottom? That's right. We can see that it is golden brown. We can tell that it is fried, a golden brown color. It's got a nice, soft, flaky crust too. See how it tears soft when we pull on it? Mm. Okay, so what do we have? We have a beautiful, ooh, pretty, ooh. We have a heart-shaped donut, a pretty heart-shaped donut with pink frosting, red crunchy sprinkles, and white icing on top. The icing is thick, but it crumbles off easily. What else? It is a thick donut. So that means there might be something inside of it, right? Hmm. Should we break it? We should totally break this. Let's break it this way so we don't break the heart. Okay. What's inside of it? Nothing. Huh. I thought there was something inside of it. There's nothing inside of it. But we can see that the donut is flaky. The donut is soft and moist. I bet it's sweet too. So we have a broken heart-shaped donut. Oh no, how did it go? Like this? I don't know. I twisted it around a lot, but that's okay. <laughs> so what do we have here? We have, well, we had, because now it's not a heart shape anymore. We have a pink heart-shaped donut with frosting on top that has red sprinkles, white icing lines. It is about the size of my hand and it is, I don't know, what is one inch thick, maybe six centimeters, I'm not sure, five centimeters. I'm not sure what one inch would be in metric system. So it is fried golden brown on the bottom. It is soft, flaky. The frosting is thick and crumbly. It breaks pretty easy. It is cold. Oh, it's cold. The donut feels cold to the touch and it is light. It is not heavy. It looks like there's frosting inside, but I don't see any. 
There is jelly. There's jelly inside. Ooh, there is sweet red jelly inside. It has, it's strawberry jelly, I think. It looks like strawberry jelly. So now when we describe this, we have to say what all of this stuff we discovered was. So what was this? What is it? It is a heart-shaped donut with pink frosting, white icing lines, red sprinkles on top. It is about the size of my hand. It is golden brown and fried on the bottom, and it has strawberry jelly inside. The icing crumbles off of the donut very easily. The donut is light and fluffy inside. The bread is very soft. And oh, what is this? There is cream filling on one side and jelly filling on the other side. We made a mess here today. But you can see how easy it is to think about all of the details that describe a donut. Hopefully it didn't hurt your heart to see me destroy this heart do shaped donut. Yeah, it's still going to be delicious though. I promise you that. Great job today. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Comment your descriptions of today's items so I can check them. Remember to subscribe for more lessons. I will see you next time. Goodbye.